The oldest footprints in North America are over 20, thousands of years. A few years ago at the Air Force Training Training Ground US and Utah researchers stumbled upon fossilized traces of human feet. New research confirms these are the oldest human footprints in America, about 22,000 were left by people about 22,000 ago. When did the first people reach America? This topic for years it is under discussion in the scientific community. Until recently, it was believed that man appeared in North America during the last ice age, approximately 14,000 years ago, when the sea and ocean levels were much lower, and Alaska and Yukon were connected by a land bridge called Beringia. However, in recent years, evidence has been found that seems to have been I'm going to turn. In 2021, the results were published in the journal Science Analyses of Fossilized Traces Discovered Near the Rocket Site in Naui, Mexico, which suggested that footprints were left between 23,000 and 20,000. 21,000 years ago. This aroused controversy, because it meant that the fossilized ones the prints are about 10,000 years older than previously discovered signs of presence a man in this area. The authors wrote in the publication that the prints left after each other group of our ancestors, passing through the mud nearby an ancient lake that is no longer there, and this place is located White Sands National Park. This study has been strongly criticized because of the ways dating of traces. In fossilized prints and in their area, seeds were found the common water plant Ruffia cirrhosa. Based on age these seeds, obtained by the radiocarbon method, were made of age conclusions the traces. However, aquatic plants can capture carbon from water and carbon can capture carbon in groundwater, which for some time was isolated from the atmosphere, could get broken up already. Hence there were suspicions that the plant had absorbed the old the coal, which has disturbed the results. In 2023, a publication was published in Science, which also estimated the age of the traces at about 23,000 years. Scholars in the analysis they focused on the radiocarbon dating of conifers. It comes from ground plants, which allowed to avoid potential problems arising during the dating of aquatic plants. In the new publication, the researchers performed additional analyses, which confirm the conclusions made in previous studies. Age of the imprints they determined on the basis of samples of ancient mud, not on seeds and pollen. The results of this work were published in the journal Science Advances. Thousands of years ago, the White Sands area was dotted larger and smaller lakes that have dried up and have not survived to our times. Footmarks were dug in a shallow stream that fell into one of they are so. In the new research by Vance Holliday of the University of Arizona together with their team, they made a series of additional excavations at the White Sands in 2022 and 2023 to take a closer look at the geology of the lake bed. The samples taken they were subjected to a detailed analysis, and this showed that the mud in which they survived the prints are between 20,700 and 22,400 years old, which correlates with the original findings. It is up to by the third type of material used to date footprints. Two separate research groups and three different laboratories they dated a total of 55 samples by radiocarbon method and all appear to be consistent as to up to the age of the tracks this is an extremely coherent record admitted Holiday. Holiday also pointed out that the research does not answer the question, which he has heard many times from critics, why there are no traces artifacts or settlements left by these people. According to him, the ancient hunting-gathering groups were guarding their tools to not lose them. These people lived thanks to their artifacts and were far from places where they could get replacement material. That's why it's just not they dropped artifacts accidentally, 
Holiday said. Everything that is left after these mysterious ancient wanderers, these are a few footprints.
Pas de soleil, pas de soleil, pas de soleil. 